Hello, everyone, and welcome to Test Run. I'm your host, Code Marvelous, and I'm again joined by Dane. And Hello. we're taking his RoboCop deck for a spin on competitive Jinteki and seeing how we do. So uh, let's take a look at our opening hand. Let's give him the good luck, have fun, and let's see what we're going to do. So can, are you able to see the opening hand okay? I am. And I love this hand. I love it a little less against Wizard. Okay. Um, we can do a lot worse, though. So maybe we should keep this because it, it's not going to be fun if we mull into four agendas and no eyes. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I mean, I can get behind that decision. Yeah, it's it's so hard when you have what I like to call like a a B minus hand. Yeah, where it's like it could be, it could always be worse. All right, so our first draw is another brain taping. Okay. Um. So I think we install Eli over headquarters. Okay. Um, and then we either click twice for credits or we install. Breaker Bay and Eve into the same remote and just res them. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that, because if he's willing to kill his economy early... Yeah. Just to get rid cost of that... Cost him two. Well, if he wants to clear the server, it's going to cost him four, right? Right, right. Seems alright. If he wants to do that turn one... he probably won't run. Yeah. Especially since we left R and D open, if he has a spare click that's not for setup, he's going to run R and R and D instead. There it is. We got a data yeah. sucker going down, dirty laundry right into R and D. Classic sure. net runner. Mm -hmm. Wild side. All right, so we're in business. Let's go. Bloop, bloop. Excellent. Oh uh, yeah, God, it feels so good. And the Janus. Well, he already knows it's a Janus. Um, I would draw a card, I think. Donus. Excellent. Um, I'd probably install the Janus over... Well, I mean, we can try and install it over R&D and just bluff him. Uh, I think I'm going to want that... On the remote. Over a remote... Install the install the Janus over R and D and then click for a credit. All right. So for those of you watching at home, I do have the enhancement tool, so you should be able to see the credits and the agenda points bigger. Yeah, in those situations, I always like to draw just to keep them guessing as to is that the Janus or not. Because if I just install and click for two credits, he knows it's the Janus and he's just going to run R and D anyway. Right. This gives a little, a little threat of okay. Did he draw, you know, a victor on his extra draw, and is that what I'm seeing? Right. That makes sense. All right. So he's going to go for it, and he's going to clear the server. But Good. it's important to note that we spent nothing for that value, and we also got yeah. a credit just for installing. So we're already net three. Yeah, I'm so okay Excellent. with that. Yeah. All right, so we pulled another Adonis. Hmm. I think we install an Adonis and click for two credits. Just one? Yeah. Again, we're, we're getting a credit for this. He's just wasting a click. Right. All right, there's the Liberated. All right, he's going to go check it. Good. All right, we've got a, a, a victor. I didn't even realize he'd stolen a Kronos project. That makes me sad. That was on that first turn? I must have been on that first run, and I just didn't see it. Um, so install the victor in a remote server and click for two credits. This HB, classic HB, install, click for two, install, click for two. Yeah, it allows it's... me to play a lot less economy than... All right, so I assume we're resing here? Absolutely. 
If he clicks through, he's going to have to discard some cards. He's not going to. Clone chip's going down. And he used Liberated one more time. And threw a Levy away? Yep. So we've got a Heimdall 2 that we just drew. Um... Hmm. We can either put that over the remote. Yeah, put that put that over the remote and click for two credits. Because that'll put us at 15. We can res the Janus if we need to. Oh, Janus. So but good. then next turn we can put the Adonis in the remote and just click for credits. All right, here comes the knifed. Okay. Maybe we'll put the Vitruvius in the counter or in the server. If he doesn't steal it now. He's not, but he is going to get rid of our other Adonis. Yeah, this is the first time I've uh, I've seen Jinteki, so this is much more user-friendly than I'm giving it credit for. Hey, we got a Jackson. Um, hmm. Do we, do we... I think we put the Vitruvius in the defended remote. Okay. And then we install. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do we want to put two brain taping warehouses down? It sacrifices our Janet or our Jackson. Yeah. Install two brain taping warehouses. Oh goddamn! Speaking of bad user interface actions, I accidentally overwrote the server. Nice. And I just did it again because I'm not apparently <laughs> don't have my good brain today. Fair enough. But yeah, so we've got the brain tapings. So we may have sacrificed the brain tapings if he just runs and trashes them. But that's still but, okay. Yeah, if he if he makes a run on our server, we can get pretty good value out of those and res both of our ice over the remote. And it's worth noting, if he runs R&D and hits that Janus, he's just not going to have a good time. No. Because he still doesn't have chronotype down. So he still isn't even working with his full accoutrement of clicks. It's also worth noting that we do all, we're, we are also holding a Jackson, so we can get the brain tapings back pretty easily. Yeah. Depending on what we draw, we might want to throw the Jackson down and advance the Vitruvius once or twice. Right. Set up a fork. Um, it's nice to be able to get to, to Jackson those back in, but... The main thing I use those Vitruvius counters for is getting back brain taping warehouses. Right, because they go right into the hand. So if you're, yeah, if you've got um, um, advanced assembly lines, you Vitruvius it into your hands, pop the assembly lines, put it down, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, exactly. I'm so okay with how many cards he's having to discard. Now it is important to note that the David is now in the trash, so he can clone chip that back at will. Sad story. So we have Surat now. Well, but we just lost all our breaker bays. Um, let's see. So our two plays are just to either score the Vitruvius... Um, which I think is probably the better play, but it showcases the deck a little bit less. Um, I think we maybe install the Surat in the server, making him think it's an Ash, and then advance the Vitruvius twice. I'm just thinking of what I would think if someone installed an upgrade and then advanced that. I would think it's an Ash. Right. right. Hmm. 
I hope he doesn't call my bluff because uh, I was still planning on those breaker bays or uh, brain tapings. Brain tapings being able to res all of those cards, but I'm happy he only has three clicks. So there's Faust. How many cards does he have? Uh, six. He's got six cards in hand. Um, I think we res the Heimdall too. Do we res the Surat? No, right? We just hard res the Heimdall? Just hard res it. He'll, uh, he'll pull out a David for it. But then he doesn't have a David. Oh, he's jacking out. Excellent. I'm guessing he probably maybe thinks we have a destroyer behind it, so that with the zero credits, he's just going to, you know, like... I mean, he could always break it with Faust. I'm not sure what he thinks. Maybe he thinks it's a... Swordsman? Well... Or a... Co no, it can't uh, be a command name. Or maybe he thinks that that Ash still keeps him out. Yeah, that's true. So let's fire it up. We get another Surat. Perfect. Uh, just advance that three times and take our two counters. Hope he doesn't have a medium in hand. Feels good. Two Vitruvius counters feels good. You wanted to showcase that double Vitruvius. We've got it early, just like you yeah. said. Yeah. Yep. That's... Uh... Those are our two breaker bays. Or uh, brain taping warehouses. Yep, and then after our next turn, we can fire the combo if we want. Yeah, we're going to be a little short on money, but... Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Don't There's hit no medium. an agenda. It's fine. Up, oh, trashing something. Ooh, Jackson Howard. Yeah, we got another one. It's fine. And we have two Vitruvius counters. I don't really care that much about him trashing stuff. If I was him... All right, so we now also have the employee strike down. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so we got an Eli, which ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Um, but man, that employee strike really hurts us because we can't res the Eli over R and D this turn. Um, put the Jackson in our defended remote and click for two credits. See if we can bait out a run. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just don't want him to be able to trash it out of my hand. Right. But also, if he runs it, that's wasted resources. Yeah. He has to be holding the same old thing now that he's pitched the levy. Because I'm hoping... If Which we, I guess he'll, if we he'll can probably get him try with a and surprise, that. Right. If we can get a surprise Janus, then maybe we can pick the same old thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nope, the jig is up. He's seen Surat. That's all right. All right. So we just got a global food. Hmm. Um. Should we draw with Jackson? I mean, Ooh, I. But that that screws up our Surat. But that's all right. So we got some more ice. Um, put the Eli over HQ and click for a credit. 
seems good. It's worth noting that we do have a pretty low agenda density in this deck. We're running nine agendas, which is on the lower side of average. Turntable. That's not great. No, it's not. Um, Do we want to pop them right now? Oh, I screwed us by drawing with Jackson. Because now we don't have an asset. Um... Yeah, pull back both of our brain tape, our brain tapings. Yeah, because we we with our with my Jinteki.net luck, he'll pull an agenda, and we were gonna get him anyway. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, they were safer in the trash because he can't come in and trash them again. But I'm happy to tax him with an with an Eli if he does want to pick through our hand. Yeah, still no chronotype out for him. Yeah, he he doesn't have a ton of money. His board state's not great. Okay. So at the start of the turn, will we pick another Eli? Um I want to put that over R&D and then click for two credits. And again, employee strike is just so brutal. I hate it so much. It's a really good card. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I have it as a one of in my noise. Originally, it was to help me deal with harpsichord around the time of worlds. And now it's just great for everything that people are running right now. Go ahead and res that. Oh. I mean, he has. I'd rather give him R and D accesses than HQ accesses. Yep, oh, he's jacking out. Excellent. Oh no, he's just rerunning. There we go. So he can actually apply the data sucker tokens. Fair. Come on! Don't hit anything cool. Damn it. Oof. Snags a global food initiative. And we grab another Janus. Okay. Um, I think we click for three credits. Parasite's down, so Eli is going bye bye. Okay. He is just n no friend to our Eli's. Yeah, Dumbleforks can be rough. If they if they can get set up, and he's not set up, but it's still it's still Dumblefork versus HB. Mm-hmm. Don't hit a global. I mean, I, 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 uh, uh, all right. So the brain tapings are gone. Okay. I, I hate Dumblefork significantly less now that uh, IG is out, because IG is even worse. So, um, we, so we have an Ash now. Uh, put that in the remote. In the remote? Yeah. Although we've got... Oh, God. This is ugly. I mean, that can proc our Surat combo, but I don't think we're going to pull off our Surat combo this game. He's just being an asshole. So what are we doing? Um, I 
Well, I don't want to lose that ash. Put the ash in the remote. Put Ichi over HQ and click for a credit. Yeah, uh, no ETF money's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we wanted to showcase the deck, and he's just... He's uh, making it his job to prevent the deck from popping off, which is unfortunate. Especially since I've been making suboptimal decisions just to try and make the deck pop off. Yeah, res the Eli. Ugh. I mean, there's 15 trashable things in the deck, so it's to be expected. Oh, good. I don't care about another Surat. I think that was a mistake for him to trash that. Well, I guess he figures if he runs again, he, you know, shows him new cards. Yep, there it is. And he is tearing through his cards, though. Oof. Steals the ABT. We now have another Heimdall. Oh, I was going to say we should pop Jackson, but um, I think we wipe viruses. Yeah, that'll slow him down pretty significantly. Yeah, the, the data sucker in particular. All right, so he's coming into HQ. We cannot res. This could potentially be game here, and it is. Oh, man. Oh, that was bullshit. I mean, it, oh, well. ha it happens. I mean, we're in competitive Jinteki. He's clearly a practice wizard player. Yeah, we saw five agendas. What can you do? But, yeah, I mean... For those of you watching at home, the deck is powerful. Uh, it just requires, like all HB decks that are built for kind of the mid to late game, the piloting in the um, early game is kind of the most difficult and important part. Well, I mean, I think I think he did a, a master's class in how to beat the deck. I mean, A, get lucky and hit every access, uh, and B, don't let the brain tapings survive. Right. You trashed... What, four of them? There's nothing you can do about that. Thanks for watching. He's a fan of the show. Nice. But yeah. So Well now 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 I shouldn't have been calling him an asshole. He he actually did played that really well. We no, got smoked. I mean, yeah, he or they are just doing the thing that you do, which is when you're up against HB and you don't know exactly what their plan is, you play careful and trash everything you can without crashing your economy. Until you know what's going on. Right. But yeah, it's a great deck. I highly recommend putting in the time, people at home, to pilot, learning how to pilot it. Even if it doesn't become like your go-to deck, it's a lot of fun to play. And it's um, got a lot of power to it. And it just feels good. Like, free money just feels good, right? It's like why Blue Sun was so popular when it first came out. Because you just got to res big stuff for, like, no money. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a total Timmy deck, um, and I'm I'm a Timmy. Can you Timmy explain player. what that means very briefly for the people at home yeah. who may not have played Magic? 
Yeah, there's three main archetypes of Magic players. There's Spike, they just play whatever it takes to win. There's Johnny, and they just like to put together complicated Rube Goldberg combos and machines. And then there's Timmy's, and they're uh, they're the players who like to just get down the giant, you know, dragons or you know, you know, the eleven eleven green stompers. Like they spend their whole time just ramping up to doing something silly. Right. Um, it's really satisfying in Netrunner too. Like having a bunch of resed giant ice. It's just fun and funny. It just feels so, good. It feels good. Yeah. Yeah. I think the deck is better when you're slightly inebriated. Um, it does have some power. I think it can steal a lot of games from a lot of good people. Uh, if nothing else, it's it's not much worse than just kind of standard HB, which people forget about is still pretty dang strong. Yeah, it's certainly not bad. But, Dane, thank you very much for coming on the channel and talking about the deck. Yeah, thanks again for having me. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Everybody, you can find ANR Black Hats on SoundCloud, YouTube, and on Facebook and Twitter. And until we catch you again, always be running. Mm-hmm.